I'm UK. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. So I know that it can be extremely discouraging to put all of your hard work and your effort into making a video, putting all of your tips and your clues in there, only to have people click on a video and then click off and not finish the video all the way to the end. So I have two things to say about that. The first one is this. There are people that watch your video all the way to the end, so whatever you do, just don't give up. Stick with it, keep at it. And number two, make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so you can see what I do for video optimization as well as search engine optimization, which increases my video retention rate. So number one is you want to make sure you switch up your shot. You don't want to sit in the same spot, pretty much don't move your head, look straight at the camera and talk for a very long time, especially if you have longer videos, because people may have the tendency to drift off or you yourself would, you would naturally do that if you were watching someone else. So make sure that you're changing your scenes, you're incorporating different graphics, you're doing something to break up your video just a bit. Now, if you do find that you have longer videos, I found in my last video something that worked amazingly in my favor were timestamps. I used my timestamps, so I think that those are very good, and that's a new YouTube to, uh, tool that we have. They work so good because sometimes if you have a really long video, people may want to watch a couple of frames and then they may have to go away. When they come back, they don't want to have to keep fast forwarding, rewinding, fast forwarding, rewinding, figure out where they were in the video. Sometimes they want to just go straight to that point that they left off. So if they know they left off with your bullet point number four, your tip number four, they can pick right back up with number five. So. I would say timestamps are an amazing tool that YouTube has incorporated and like I said, I used it in my last video and speaking of my last video, we are in the YouTube search and the YouTube suggested, y'all. <laughs> search but I went a very long time without my videos actually ranking in YouTube suggested this last video I just did here if you haven't checked this video out make sure you do because every tip that I give is so imperative when you're trying to get started or you're trying to get your next 1,000 subscribers so speaking of video retention rate the video that I just did last week is actually at about an 86% video retention rate and that is awesome a lot of times you'll read things online that the the goal for your videos is to be over 50% I've had videos that had a 17% video retention rate that actually made it into search and suggestion and did very well the thing is you want audience engagement meaning you need people to comment if people are subscribing to your channel or if people are going down that rabbit hole I talked about in the last video make sure you guys check that one out so you know what I'm exactly what I'm referring to the highest retention rate I've ever had on a video is 99% and that video did not make it into suggested but it did make it into YouTube search so that's more about my video optimization and uh, search engine optimization which is SEO my videos tend to make it into the Google search the YouTube search is when I look at my analytics it tells me all that I'll do another video on that for you guys if you're interested comment down below something else that helps with your video retention rate constructive criticism you want to go to your one friend or your two friends that you know just have no filter they will tell you exactly how they feel at any given moment get them to watch your videos ask them what it is about your video that would make them either click off or just bypass it altogether once you get that feedback use that to your advantage improve your videos because if your friends are saying that nine times out of ten your audience will be thinking the same thing and that could really make or break your audience retention rate so feedback is always welcome Something else that could help improve your video retention rate is having an outline. You don't want to do a lot of pausing. You don't want to just go off on tangents. Sometimes I, I'm a sucker for a good story. I love good stories, but there are a lot of people that you'll find they just want you to get right to it. So if you stick to your script or you stick to a rough outline, that'll help you get through your videos faster and help you get straight to the points of what people are actually coming to you for. Based off of my last video, I actually had two different people reach out to me, one through text, one through email, and they both asked, how do they stop the pauses? 
we don't want them to click off the whole point of this is to get people on your video and keep them on your video so you don't want to do a bunch of rambling in the beginning get to the point you also don't want to find yourself saying um uh well yeah and 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 so all of that stuff cut it and my main thing that I told them is you want to have an outline. If you have an outline, it kind of keeps you on task. You can still freestyle. It doesn't have to be a verbatim framework that you're reading from. You don't have to do a skit. But if you have bullet points, that helps to keep you on task when you're going through what you're trying to get out to your audience. Videos that are like live streams that are an hour, two hours, three hours, people do watch those for a very long time, but even that may wind up with like a 50 or 60% retention rate. But 50% of three hours is an hour and a half. So that's a very long time to watch. So that don't get discouraged by that number. But if you cut down on the things that don't need to go into your video and you just go from one point to the next point to the next point that's how you optimize your video to keep your audience engaged now here's my favorite one and this is something that I had to learn you don't have to cram it all in there you can always do a part two speaking of part two that's what we'll be doing so if you guys have any questions about video retention rate anything you want to know comment down below and we can definitely talk about it down in the comment section if you have anything that you want to add Put that down in the comment section as well, and we will do this again next time, y'all. I'm out.